is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Leather Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. You are welcome to episode number 36 of the 120 Days to Jam Comics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at purchase and sales of goods. Purchase and sales of goods. Buyers make purchases. Sellers make sales. Now remember, commerce is actually buying and selling and every other activities that supports buying and selling. Now, the aspect we are focusing on in this uh, uh, topic, in this episode, under purchase and sales of goods, is the documents between buyers and sellers. If I say that I own this mouse, and you say no, what will be a proof to show that I actually own it? It is called receipt. So if you have a receipt for this, anywhere you take me to, I can prove that this belongs to me. So there are certain documents needed in buying and selling for reference, for payment, and more. These are the ones we shall be looking at. The first is Trade Journal. Journal is a magazine or newspaper that contain or that carry certain information. So, a sales journal will carry publications like the movement of raw materials around, the prices of goods, the production techniques for goods and services, the terms of trade, the delivery of goods and services, payments. So, this magazine, this newspaper, uh, this, paper, this publication basically spreads news, rumor, update about buying and selling, about purchases and sales of goods. Then we have the letter of inquiry. It is a letter a buyer sends to a seller trying to find out the available product. Is this available? Do you have this product? Do you get this? Like I said in government house, Delta State Asaba. I served in the technical unit, so we're in charge of, of installing maintaining all the air conditioners in government house for governor, government wife, uh, chief of staff, uh, permanent secretary, admin, the VIP lodge, the VVIP, so all those areas. Now, during maintenance, my boss gave me a, uh, a letter, 2.5 horsepower standing unit, this, 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 so different um, air conditioners or uh, different um, gadgets, different stuffs, different electronics, and said, Take, drive to ShopRite, give them this document, ask them if they have this, if they have that, and the prices. I said, Okay, no problem. So I went there and I gave them the document. So they checked, Okay, this is available, this is the price, this is available, this is the price, this is available. This is the price, and they showed me around. So, that is inquiry. And letter of inquiry usually involves catalog and quotation. Quotation is price list. And look at catalog. If you've ever chatted anybody up using WhatsApp business, once you click on the business profile, if the person sells cake, you see different cake the person have made or the person makes. If the person sells phones, you see different iPhones and the price. In the person sells laptop, you see different laptops. In the person makes hair, you see different human hair. Seven inches, uh, what do they look? Bone straight, ten inches bone straight. The one that will reach your leg. So now, that picture, that setup showing all the available products is referred to as catalog, and quotation is price list showing uh, all the items and how much they are sold. So all these are purchase and sales documents, and all that can be sent to 
from a buyer to seller saying I want this, bring this for me, bring that for me. All that is different from letter of inquiry. Letter of inquiry, you just want to know what the manufacturer has or yeah, so it can be from a retailer from wherever to ask what do you have in stock. But all that is you are buying. Bring, get me two air conditioners. I need two televisions. I want five laptops. So you are placing order. Bring them for me. You are not making inquiry. You are sure that they have it. You want them to bring to you. That is order. Then we have a reference letter. So this is from that can be sent from buyer to seller to show that the retailer can get goods on credit from the whole seller. We have the dispatch note. A note showing that these goods have been sent to delivery. These goods have been sent out. And if you are delivering using the railway, instead of dispatch notes, we call it advice notes. So we have delivery notes. If the manufacturer or the seller is taking the goods directly to the buyer, there is a note to show that this our product has been delivered to you successfully. And finally, invoice. Invoice is a very important purchase and sales document. For example, I host a website for somebody. And with A2 hosting, when at the end of every month or every year, when the hosting expires, they send an invoice to show that this is your hosting, this is how much you are paying. So pay now. When you make the payment, the invoice will show that you've paid. So that is invoice. If someone is owing you or someone needs to pay you, you send a document showing what they are owing you, the things they bought, and how much they are to pay, and the payment method they are to use. And there are terms that are contained in invoice. Invoice can contain trade discount to show how much you are discounting from the person. This is $500, but we are not giving you for $400. This is discount. Then your cash discounts, then error and omission expected. In when invoice is being sent, there may be error. So error and omit, uh, omission expected means the seller has the right to correct any error that is in the uh, invoice. Then performer invoice. This is like invoice, but you are not owing. It is not a command for you to pay. It's just for you to see the various products and the amount they are. This is just like a quotation. Price list, products and price. Credit note is a note sent from the seller to the buyer showing that their account has been credited. While debit note is showing that there is a debit on their account or they are owing. That is basically <laughs> purchase and sales of goods or specifically documents between buyer and seller. In the next episode, we shall talk about something else under purchase and sales of goods. I do hope you found this particular episode interesting and make sure you visit the flashlearners.com and install the Flash Learners Jam app. It is going to help you pass your examination. It has helped many persons go above 300. You see the various versions or you check out your various app stores, you see the application there. So rich and so detailed. See ya in the next episode.